There we go. I'm in one of the hardest places I've ever been in. Uh, you guys are probably looking at me like, Tricks, why the hell is this game on? Uh, where's my Apex fix, bro? But just hear me out, hear me out. There's a whole strat to this, okay? Whole strat. Look at that, this guy over here? Uh, I don't know these are make money off of GP offices or wards. So what I have to do is I make, I have to make different type of money, wink wink, in, in other areas. So what I've developed, what I've developed is um, I'm going to make a huge psychiatry ward and then they're also making money off of this thing, which is the, the debugger for 8-bit um, disease. Yeah, okay, I sound really weird. So the whole point of this thing is I'm always losing money on the things that I cannot gain. So like the ward and the GP's office, like I said, I make money off of other sources of income, which is a psychiatry ward or even these random little events that they have on the right hand side. Um, so right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cure one other patient in, in the pharmacy, uh, do the vaccinated thingy, and then upgrade a machine. I only gain money off of these things. And the two other times that I tried to play this round, I could not because um, I didn't know how to do it. And I kept minusing in money and they asked me to take out a loan and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm definitely failing this right here that uh, specializes in surgery, which is right there. And it has all the st stats that I do want. It has two treatments, GP, psychiatry, and then surgery right there. But he's 51,000, there's 10,000 to have him. I might take it and then I might fire him after just because of how much um, I'm being deducted on. Also, the cool thing is you can open and close certain areas too of the hospital so people don't go in it. I take off certain things, like I like to say organized, um, of things that they can and cannot do. It's like Sims. But I can't do anything until this guy fixes this machine right here, and this looks like it's going to take a couple more days. I have no idea. I have no idea, but I generally enjoy this game. This is actually a really fun game. Um, apparently it's like really Attention. cold here, and uh, I've been kind of slacking on keeping my people warm. Because look at this, you're going to see something really sad. Look, everywhere that blue that's touching is cold spaces. You think we're actually paying for warm spaces? We're not. We're not making enough money for me to fuel enough heat into this hospital. Until we make money, guys, I will grant you a small radiator um, in another central part of this hospital. But for now, you guys are going to primarily stay cold. I'm sorry. Um, if anybody does want to play um, Two Point Hospital, the most... I'm not buying that either. That's a waste of money. The most useful thing to buy... Here, I'll show you. The most useful things to buy are definitely energy drinks. Um... A sweet dispenser um, and a bunch of like uh, random paintings because if you look at it, it it increases certain things in the hospital so it kind of you know Tracy Lou you should try out Subnautica I love Subnautica oh my gosh I love sorry Bailey I love Sub Subnautica I'm supposed to look really cool I love that game it's an amazing game it's like Minecraft in the water I also realized that space is a huge thing in this game. So what I did was like I made very narrow hallways, I made places, I put these desks literally as close to the door as possible. So it's all time efficient. Nothing is ever built in this side. So if you guys are wondering why my hospital is kind of ugly, that's the reason for it. I just want time efficiency, I want you in, I want you out and get the fuck out, you know what I mean? Go back home type thing. Big primary object that you should always purchase when getting this is the medicine cabinet, which I don't have yet because I, I'm still kind of new to this game. I just watch a lot of YouTube videos on it. Um, but yeah. So yeah, this is a really ugly room, but there's there's a there's a reason. When you get like let's say like super rich and you, your your hospitals at like two mil, fine, right? But like if you're trying to be time efficient, the hell, I'm making all what? How did you go? You weren't supposed to go in there. Wait, one second. Let me lock this out of the way here. You can't move out of this little box, sir. How are you moving out? Stop! Level 4 psychiatry. I can do that. Why not? Um, that costs money, though. You gonna pay for it? You have psychiatry money? What was I doing again? I was doing something else. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm generating research points, I'm looking for zombies. Um, you know, this game has a little, like, best of both worlds, you feel me? Like, you cure the plague, and you 
care of other people at the same time. It's a fun time, dude. What the hell? Oh, dude! Also, break times are very short. Sorry, like 20 minute breaks, not even, in game time. T5 out of 7, so this means I gained $10,000, gained clue dodge points, and 10 rep. Means I'm one of the best hospitals. Oh, okay, here's another thing. Okay, so this guy's asking for a promotion, right? And he, he's getting paid $17,000. And he's asking for, like, a nice $21,000. Yeah, this is what I do. So I, I pay them the bare minimum. 18900 And I feel like that's a good... That's that's pretty good. You know, we're kind of struggling on money. Not really anymore. We're, we just gained $50,000. But we're not going to tell him that we gained $50,000. So they can do this thing. It makes their diagnosis more better, more viable. A better percentage of them getting the fuck out of the hospital. Toilets yes. need routine servicing. All right, so we need a level four psychiatry. And how I do it is I literally go like right here, and it, it tells me that it's level two on the right top hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this look super duper fancy, and I got a couple ways. He's gonna be like very excited to come to work every day type feel, you know what I mean? Can I put one right here? And like I said, none of nothing that I do has to make sense. And you can't judge me. I'm also losing money. This guy wants a $31,000 raise and he's getting 23000 Doctor consultant, so he's been here for quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, like, um, negotiate with his lowest price, which would be this one. You're getting a whole $5,000 raise, dude? Fine, dude. But yeah, this whole game is main, like, it's jipping off a lot of people as much as possible. Like, scraping everything, you know what I mean? So this guy wanted, like, a $25,000 raise. I'm gonna get his bare minimum real quick. People are probably, like, thinking in their heads, like, Trix, you're an evil son of a gun. And, yeah. You're looking for work? I got work right over here for you, sir or ma'am. I can't really tell. You guys all look like blobs to me. Get it? You know, time efficiency, it'd be better if you guys both got ready in the same little stall, but whatever, it's not me. They're here and they arrived. What is this publicity update? I don't usually read those. I don't understand them. Um, my reputation is currently going even lower. You know, I do what I can. The gold star awards that kind of um, increase the hospital's attractiveness and prestige and whatnot. Just Mender, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. I almost forgot again. Um, but yeah, it's asking me to put my pharmacy to level 4, which I'm going to do right now. I, I'm looking for pictures, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm just looking for pictures, and I could literally just po put them anywhere until it gets to level 4. Usually I put them really close, let's say if they're asking for like a level 5 room, I'll have it like that close and the wall would be just like, covered with it. Like that, so I think it's level 4. So if I go, yep. And I got money, I got 75,000. We're in the clear again, dude. Um, anybody ask for raises, say no, move it on. We got a deluxe ghost. I do watch a lot of YouTubers, or actually not a lot, just a couple YouTubers who actually specialize in this game, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I know, I'm weird, I'm so sorry. I also watch random stuff on space, but don't judge me. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've, I've been trying to learn on how to be more efficient, time-wise, money-wise, and all that other stuff in between, so I can make it the best hospital, not the nicest looking hospital, but the best hospital in a Two Point Hospital. I'm not sponsored. I'm actually making this place look super fancy as you can see. Look at this. Walls to die for. That's on the kind of sus. Don't, don't read into it too far or else it's going to get a little weird and this is not that type of stream guys. I'm telling you. Alright. Look at that. Beautiful. You're welcome. Train three staff. I, do I actually get money off of this one? This guy's mad at me. Okay, let me. Oh, a lot of people are underpaid. Terrible reputation. Because I know people on you all the Yelp reviews now, are probably saying, you know, Trix is the most worst sleep. hospital ever. They don't wash their hands after using the bathrooms. They don't even hear the patients. No one gets paid. Everyone's volunteering. You know, those are probably the, the gossips, whatever. But you just gotta keep it going. If you enjoyed my rendition of Two Point Hospital, please subscribe. Thank you.